coming into the ring on my left, the sensational middleweight champion of the world, the Bronx Bull, Jake LaMotta. In the toughest sport, nobody's ever been tougher than Jake LaMotta. He rose up from the streets of the Bronx, a terror in silk trunks, and refused to go down. Some of those short shots would rock a truck, but they don't seem to move LaMotta. Nobody ever heard me in the ring. Nobody ever heard me in the ring. I, I, for some reason or another, I convinced myself so strongly that nobody could hurt me. In the defining rivalry of his career, if LaMotta was the bull, the elegant Sugar Ray Robinson was the matador. In their first fight, LaMotta was defeated. In their second, in 1943, LaMotta, with a 16-pound weight advantage, handed Robinson his first ever loss. LaMotta and Robinson would fight four more times in the next eight years, even though for most of that time, they were in different weight classes. I fought Sugar Ray so many times, it's a wonder I don't have diabetes. As Robinson was dominating the welterweight division in the 1940s, LaMotta was clearing out the middleweights. He deserved a shot at the title, but to get it, first he'd have to take a dive against Billy Fox in 1947. They came to my brother with a proposition that if I lost the fight, I would be guaranteed a shot for the title, and I agreed. Fox scored a fourth round TKO and immediately it was assumed that the Mafia had pressured LaMotta to throw the fight. In the absence of hard proof, LaMotta kept his license and in 1949 the mob delivered what it had promised, a title shot against the gifted Frenchman Marcel Serdan. I knew that once I won in that ring I couldn't lose because I was so obsessed in my mind. So I, I stopped him in the tenth round. Twice in 1950, LaMotta successfully defended his title. A year later, he'd defend his title for a third time against Robinson, the welterweight champion, in a fight that would come to be known as the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And the crowd certainly is buzzing about Lamar's fighting here in the Chicago Stadium. Well, I, I knew for 10 rounds that I wouldn't fight. But for the next three rounds, I couldn't lift up my arms. These are clean whistling shots, left and right. How he can survive them, nobody knows. The fight is going to be stopped on... The winner by our technical knockout, the new world middleweight boxing champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. Let me put it this way. In the six fights we had, he never had me down. Never had me down, but I had him down in three different fights. The pummeling, LaMotta's fourth consecutive defeat at Robinson's quicker hands, took a terrible toll. The following year, at the age of 31, he was knocked down for the first time by Danny Nardico. Still, the bull got up. He wouldn't be, he couldn't allow himself to be, counted out. I can't explain what the public feels. I guess the public feels that the fighter himself is the underdog. They hope that something good happens to him. The world roots for the underdog, the people that has it tough, you know, to survive. 